สวัสดีครับ Good afternoon once again today is Friday the 19th of November 2021 it's Lai Gatong Day as you for those who are familiar Lai Gatong Festival very important and this is the English language summary of the press briefing here that we have at the Center for COVID Situation Administration or CCSA First off, I'd like to give an update on the Thailand Pass system. It's been three weeks since we reopened the country. So, just to start up with uh, the update on the entry into Thailand. So, as of 5 p.m. yesterday, we have some numbers for you. We logged in a total of 228,642 applications to the Thailand Pass system. Of that number, a total of 179,000. 972 have been approved in the Thailand Pass system, of which 93,138 were auto-approved. Now, during the 1 s t of November until the 1 8 h of November yesterday, a total of 68,500 sorry, 68,852 travelers entered Thailand. Of this number, the majority. Of 51,558 travelers entered via the test and go system or the quarantine exemption scheme. 14,142 entered via the sandbox scheme, and 3,152 entered with quarantine, including both the seven-day quarantine and the seven, then the 10-day quarantine scheme. The majority of international travelers uh, come from these top 10 countries of origin, namely the United States. Germany, UK, Japan, France, Russia, Republic of Korea, Israel, UAE, and Switzerland. Just now, you had, we had a uh, infographic for you in Thai, which I explained uh, in English already. Now, out of the total number of travelers, only 89 persons tested positive for COVID, or it accounts to 0.13 percent, which means that the requirements that we have put in place for the Reopening schemes are working quite properly in screening out the COVID uh, patients from the majority of incoming travelers uh, who are COVID-19 free. The majority. Now, for those who are still awaiting their approval or may have further inquiries on the Thailand Pass system, please directly contact directly contact the call center of the Department of Consular Affairs, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And we have the hotline numbers there on screen for you, including the mobile phone numbers, operational 24 hours, and email on screen for you there. Yes. So moving on to the vaccination progress now. Yesterday we administered a total of 764,488 doses of vaccines, increasing the accumulated number of vaccinations in Thailand to over. 87.6 million doses already. 87, 87.6 million doses. 64.2 percent of Thailand's population have now received their first dose, and more than 53 percent have now received their second dose. Now you have the details on screen there for you on the uh, configuration of the first, second, and third dose. As I, as I mentioned, more than 53 percent. Of the population have received their second dose already, and that this 53% is approximately around 38.4 million people, and the numbers continue to expand. For the vaccination within the pilot tourism provinces, 87.2% of the population in c h o n b u r i province have received their first dose. This is just one example. Over 85.7% of those in Phuket have received their first dose. And over 77% of Chiang Mai's population have received their first dose. The CCSA continues to push forward for an accelerated vaccination drive nationwide, and to promote the COVID-free settings in the workplace and in public areas. Moving to the general situation and numbers we have for, for you, we'll have a screen coming up on the full screen for you there. New confirmed case: We have 6,855 new cases. We have active cases standing at 89,821, meaning those still being treated under treatment. And of this number, over 89,000, we have those in critical condition, which number 1,686, 1,686. 
and of this, 397 are on ventilators. For new recoveries, we have more new recoveries than the additional new confirmed cases. New recovery stands at 7,655 cases, which is higher than the new, new number of uh, cases added on to the tally. We have 51 new fatalities, unfortunately. As you see on screen now, we have a total of uh, above, uh, kind of above 20,000 fatalities since the very beginning. Now for the top 10 provinces, we'll have a screen coming up for you there. Top 10 provinces with the COVID cases today. As you can see, Bangkok and its uh, periphery, followed by some southern provinces, Songkla, Nakhonsi, Tamarat, and Chiang Mai. Just some observations. For clusters with more than 10 infected, over 38% are actually from within the family and infections from within the community. Now, 10% are from infections within factories, and 9.5% are from those uh, in the workplaces, in companies, and in ho hotels. So just some figures there for you. And due to the relatively high, albeit uh, stable, uh, daily new cases of COVID-19, the entertainment venues, that's been a question, entertainment venues are still considered risk venues and their reopening has thus been delayed until mid-January. Of course, uh, the plan is to, to open up uh, entertainment venues when we are fully ready, when we are very, very sure after a 360 degree uh, evaluation and analysis. However, the, we here at the CCSA recognize the need, the importance of reopening businesses and would like businesses to prepare for registering for evaluation to be considered for the SHA plus certification. So in terms of the entertainment venues, just to repeat, still considered risk venues and opening has been delayed until mid-January. Now, talking about the COVID-free setting that I mentioned just now, which includes regular cleaning sessions, vaccinated staff, regular ATK tests for staff. You have an infographic there, getting to know the COVID-free setting, courtesy of the Public Relations Department infographic. The CCSA also encourages businesses to implement basic public health measures, such as thermal scanners and regular cleaning sessions to be considered as safe for reopening. And you can see all this information on the social media pages that we've been showing to you from time to time, Public Relations Department and other agencies, CCSA, and as well as Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Public Health. So just an additional update on Thailand's vaccination plan for the English language audience here today. To reduce the spread of the virus, the government had uh, signed various contracts uh, with COVID-19 vaccine suppliers to pre procure another 65 million doses of vaccines for next year. So 65 million doses for next year. The government is closely monitoring the development of newer versions, newer versions of vaccine, which includes uh, nasal sprays to appropriately plan with the country's inoculation strategy for next year. Now, the Ministry of Public Health of Thailand also aims to accelerate the vaccination uh, pace or rate uh, among the mi migrant workers to increase the national immunity. The Ministry of Public Health also seeks to vaccinate as many groups of people as possible with the target groups, including migrant workers, along the border areas of Thailand and our neighboring countries, and those in temporary shelters for displaced persons as well in provinces with temporary shelters, such as Ratburi, Kantanaburi, Mehong Son province, and Tak province. The government prioritizes public health safety and, of course, the people's livelihood. And thus far, up to 25% of the national GDP has been used to assist and to compensate the general public affected by the pandemic. As we in Thailand continue 
to relax the disease control measures and to open up the country to international tourism. We hope that more people would be able to resume their livelihoods within a safe COVID-free setting, a safe COVID-free environment. So just before I end this briefing, just like to remind everyone that please be vigilant during the Loi Gratong Festival uh, today. Very important festival for Thailand, for those who are familiar with festivities in Thailand or those who have lived in Thailand or can, uh, live in Thailand right now or have, have in the past. So while celebrations are joyous, joyful, joy, they're joyful so social gatherings, we still have to maintain three main measures, which includes wearing masks, obviously, physical distancing and regularly washing hands to reduce the spread of the virus. Now, celebrating the occasion by joining, for example, a uh, virtual Loi Gatong festival via the online channels is another creative way to reduce the amount of waste as well, aside from preventing uh, infection. If you want to celebrate outside, outdoors, please don't forget to choose a Loi Gatong, a, a Gatong or a flotilla, a Gatong flotilla made from natural biodegradable materials to help save the environment as well. So with that note, I thank you very much for your attention. Please take care, stay safe, and have a very happy, happy Loi Katong Day. Thank you. Sorry, Krap. ครับขอบคุณนะครับท่านรัฐประหารนุชนพคุณนะครับรองที่ประดิษฐ์กรมสารานิเทศและรองโฆษกกระทรวงการต่างประเทศนะครับคุณผู้ชมฮะเดี